Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As Did Beer Swirls. I'm Dan, that's Mike. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. I shook him up. Let's get a whiff. <laughs> uh, it smells stout. <laughs> he usually says, Dan, what are we drinking? Ah! And I say, ah. Ah. Uh, Dan, is this new brewery or... Something. You're so not happy. I stole your whole <laughs> shit, and you don't know how to react. I've got so very little on this yeah. channel. You uh, took it all from me. So this beer is from the Other Half Brewing Company, and uh, this one was brewed in uh, Bloomfield, New York, a.k.a. the FLX location. Yeah, they stopped with the tabs, but you can tell with the labels. All right, uh, so this is daydream in green okay and so this is the double version of dream in green oh. which is one of my favorite beers other half has done all right um so this beer i just love the thick can it's a great label yeah, it's you know what label. i mean it's very Hot recognizable sun. uh so this is a double dry hopped imperial oak cream india pale ale oh ridge would be like oh those quakers are working i love the oak creams bang love them uh so this is brewed with citra Motueka, Waiti, mm -hmm. oats, and milk sugar. Yum. It's a hazy imperial oat cream IPA brewed with a hand-selected blend of hops, giving notes of blank, 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 blank. Uh, well, they, you know I don't. Yeah. Uh, no, they, they say uh, notes of lychee, sweet orange, lemongrass, but Lychee! And, uh, oh, I love me lime. some lychee bubble gum. I've never had lychee. No, I haven't either. Couldn't tell you what it is. Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, well, I'll, I'll after yeah, whatever. can. I've had this before, obviously. Yeah, I have you had? probably had it, but I don't recall. Look at that beer. Look at it. That's a nice beer. Dan, give it a hard pour. Do you think the colors on this can are throwing off the colors on the camera? I hope not. Mm, not too. We've had some issues lately. Uh, that, I mean, just a chalky... Uh, what would you say, Mike? Oh, there's some floaties in there, too. Fo it's like... Get it's like a white 2724 angle. with a pink dot. I want to say 32724. Sure, sure. And we're a month out. We'll go. Uh, a real chalky, orange, dull, hazy bit of goodness. Dan has a forearm of head. I have. You're bringing it. We're not thimble. focused. We're not focused. Bring it. Oh, there. It's focused now. See that? Yeah. I'll Hashtag proper glassware. Ask you. Um, it's not proper glassware. Oops. Let's get a whiff. That doesn't taste like the stout. <laughs> in my world. No, I'm I'm uh, I'm on um, I'm, if I'm on trial here, <laughs> okay, under oath, uh huh. Probably under my head. favorite style from other half is the oat cream IPA. Yeah, I believe that. Wangies, the rye oat cream IPA. That beer is... <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Ooh, that's a tasty beer. That's just, yeah. Uh, that is a very. It smells. Softly sweet and citrusy. I get a little whiff there. Oh yeah, yeah, he's right. It's a very pleasant, subtle, subdued kind of aroma that that beckons to like explode all over your nasal cavities. So I will tell you, as this warms out, it gets so. Tropical. It's like insane yeah. lemon lime tropical, like when it warms. It's just like. There are some like juicy tropical notes just waiting to explode. Yeah, yeah. yeah this were. This, I, I can tell you firsthand, this blossoms as it gets warmer. Okay. All right. I, I believe you. Let's dive in. Cheers. And the fact that I bought this at Wegmans, crazy. We are spoiled in this state. New York State is like, spoiled. I seriously want to, like, I want to get on top of the cooler wagons and be like, this is the best beer in the store. Buy it. Yeah. It, it. It's crazy, too, that you're like, there are so many good hype breweries outside of New York State, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, if I get them, I get them. Man, eh, we got good beer in the state. All right. Tell me what you're thinking. I've, I've mm -hmm. had this a bunch of times, but. I'll tell you what, right off the rip, it's a little cold, but the soft and creaminess is there. Yeah. And I think as it warms up, that's it's gonna it's gonna become even softer and even creamier. Uh, it, it's a very like there's a nice 
bittery citrus pithy note, but it's really juicy at the same time. There, there's a lot of like tropical pineapple. Uh, there's some mango pear. I couldn't tell you what the actual fuck lychee tastes like, but I'm sure it's probably in there. Um, it's, it's also not, it, it has a candied sweetness to it without being overly sweet by any means. Uh, it's a very drinkable, enjoyable beer. Yeah, I mean, this this beer for me is just, it's the, it's the culmination of what I love in a, a good oak cream IPA. Mm -hmm. Like you said, creamy, sweet, sultry, got a little velvety kind of softness thing going on. Mm. Um, it's laying you down by the it's fire. Like, it's like Jimi Hendrix's couch. You know what I mean? Uh, um, but it's, I like it. I like it. And yes, I've seen his couch. It is velvet. Yeah. Uh, why wouldn't it be? Bunch of... Cigarette holes and burns and that's all right. Stuff in it. He's doing his yeah. thing. Mm. It's a delicious beer. Like this is bright, something bright lemon. Um, there's almost like a, a sweet custard kind of thing going on. Oh, interesting. I can see where you're getting that. Um, like I know they gave the tasting notes or whatever, and some of it, yeah, sure. Like the the papaya, yeah. Like because there's that earthiness going on. Lemon lime, obviously. I don't know about the lychee. I'll tell you what. Lemongrass, but. I feel like that the lemon is coming off like a, a lemon hard candy. Maybe not a Jolly Rancher, but just a, a generic lemon hard candy. And I really yeah. like that a lot. There's that typical other half kind of sweet melon thing that I get mm -hmm. from a lot of their beers. It's a, it's a fantastic beer. It's balanced. Uh, if you were to offer someone who maybe wasn't that familiar with other half and other half beer, I think this is a great minimal, option. minimal bitterness. I think, um, for an acclimated palate, I would say the bitterness is kind of high up there for a non acclimated palate, which it takes you not drinking these for a while to kind of figure that out. Like I had to go, uh, what was it, uh, seven days without, uh, beer because i was on like oh a, yeah that's right okay uh, anti or like a infection thing uh -huh. or whatever for my mouth and uh anyways i didn't drink one and i opened up other half beer that i normally consider pretty sweet and i was like whoo that is a bitter boy <laughs> like i was like this is what people think when they drink ipas <laughs> like, that's you know pretty funny so mm. it's just a good all-around beer it really i is. mean it's a I solid beer i love this beer. yeah yeah, I like it too. Eight one, man. I feel like it drinks a little lower too. Like, yeah, I, I didn't even say the ABV. You just said it. Good. Yeah, this is really enjoyable. Mm hmm. Uh, what do you rate it? Four four. Sure. Uh, I'm, sure. We got a four four. It's delicious. Delicious. Fantastic. Absolutely. All right, gang. Uh, down the description below. Do you like other half? Do you like the oak cream IPAs? What's your favorite? Singles, triples, doubles? <coughs> um, do you prefer oak creams and lactoses and beers or not? Like, yeah, see, that's, that's a thing. That's a real divisive thing. So too, it, that's like. a thing. With their, their daydream treatment, some people are, you know, vegan or. You get lactose um, intolerant people yeah, who are right. like, oh, I can't enjoy that. But no, I love I that. It. Listen, if you're lactose intolerant and you ever see another half beer that says daydream, <laughs> yeah, but that also goes back to the whole like i like it when beers can put it on the mm -hmm. label so you know if you are lactose intolerant you know um so there's that like that's the thing about this beer is like i think they're informative i feel like if you enjoy new zealand hops i do and don't mind like milk sugar and all that mm -hmm. you're gonna love this beer but if you're not a big new zealand hop guy or whatever, or gal. Um, I feel like it's a good IPA, but nothing mind blowing. And to me, it's it's not really mind blowing, but it just it strikes my palate, so that's why I score it higher. It, it it sounds terrible to say, but it's a very serviceable IPA. Like it's something I feel like anybody can go and enjoy, whether you're a novice in the beer drinking game or you know you're s such. A seasoned vet that you're swirling all over the table and everything. I think it branches no, get, all categories. I'm not used to this beer shape, this glass, so. There we go. 
But it's such a great shape. I will, I will swirl it's it. It's a great deal. The stem on it is just perfect. Throw it's getting weird in here. Uh, down in the description, uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. It gets weird with no beard. It's good weird with no beard. Weird with no beard. I like that. Uh, Linktree, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.